Hey guys, it's Dave from Getting the Horse Girl. Today I'm at Bristol Horsemanship and we are going to be doing a teen boot camp. We're filming day one. And if you want to see day two, you have to go to Brandy's channel and subscribe to watch hers. So, let's go. Girl. That helps on often. When I do up my saddle, I always do the strongest point of attachment first, and that's always the last thing that comes on that. <clears throat> so front stitch is always first when you're doing up your saddle, and then the breast collar and rear cinch do up as you would like. Um, and then if they haven't had a rear cinch on before, I always do the breast collar first. So front cinch, breast collar, or flank cinch, and then do it up. When I take everything off, I undo the flank cinch, and then the breast collar, and then the front cinch. Okay, you can grab your bridles and hang them on your saddle horns. I put my hands on, I tinker with this. 
because it's good for my timing. As the horse goes to pick the foot up, we redirect it. So her left front foot, she's gonna pick it up, and I'm gonna immediately say, now go backwards with it. Watch this foot. As it is gonna go backwards, I'm gonna bring it forward before it hits the ground. You see that? It went back and then came forward again. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. But it's tricky, so you gotta really think about it and time up with those feet. The reason that this exercise is important because it will help you learn how to get timed up with those feet so you can do everything. There's so many times where we're asking a horse just to simply turn and we end up tripping them because we use our rein at the wrong time. You know, it, that foot, say we're asking a horse to turn this way and they have this foot firmly planted on the ground and you say, now turn that way. Well, guess what? They can't because that foot is there. So they end up making a really awkward turn. And then we blame the horse for being, you know, stubborn or whatever. Where, wouldn't it be easier if we go to ask the horse to turn this way and they could do that? That just makes so much more sense, okay? But it's our responsibility to get good at that. Do some practice and girls. Yeah, I work on this every time. Right? Every single time. Exactly. That was good. even having your horses present so but you can do this in your barn aisle all winter long so you should be a pro next winter that's what you got to do all winter long to work on this in your barn aisle. got that mom she's getting softer i can see her already can you feel it yeah okay all these little details man add up to big oh, oh, it's a doing girls Lunch. Eat lunch. Can you? No. Thank <laughs> you. No problem. Nothing like eating lunch in the barn. What are you doing? I'm widely touching the ground because after the last horse I rode started beating me up in my stomach, I kind of got tired of it. So now I brought her from the ground. Second that they 
they move in your direction, you release. Now I want her, there's a little tiny space here. I'm going to go ahead and make that
swings all the way in and is about to swing back out. Think of when you're pushing somebody on a swing or when you're on a swing. How you go all the way to the top and then you're about to swing back down. That, at that moment right there. So when your left front leg swings all the way in towards the horse, that's when the left front leg is leaving the ground. So we're only focusing on the front feet. No, front left is the one I want to focus on right now. So you guys remember how we were doing the pendulum exercise and you're timing up with the feet? This is the same thing. Now. Now. cold? <laughs> I want to see a very obvious slow down on the short end and an obvious speed up on the long end. Okay? I want to see some soft feels. I want to see your horse stay deep in the corner. I want to see you use your leg Slow down, Danny. That looked really good. Nice job. Good job, Danny. That looked really good, too. Okay, now, Muffin, the reason I put you with them is because Muffin's gonna feel like she needs to race them, and that's good for you to deal with. Oh, come on. Come on. Hold on.
Share and subscribe. 
Today I had a team boot camp with Brandy Rowling. <laughs> and so if you want to check out day two of it, go to Brandy's channel and subscribe to her and you can watch day two. So, bye. <laughs> Say bye, is that up? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good job today, girls. High five, Danny. Get back on your horse and give me a high five. No. <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> no. Riding into the sunset. <laughs>